Fox at 5 starts now. Fire dangers and the 4th of July. It's where we begin tonight on ABC4 News at 5. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Emily Flores. Thank you so much for joining us here this evening. The fireworks ban in Salt Lake City has fire officials on high alert. The Salt Lake City Fire Department saying even though the ban is in place, they know there could be people who break the rule. And if that's the case, how are they planning to enforce the ban? ABC4's Jordan Burroughs speaking to fire officials today and has that answer. Jordan. Emily, first of all, that ban was a collaboration between the Salt Lake City Fire Department and also the Salt Lake City Police Department. But it's a different story once you cross the uh, city line. So behind me is 2100 South, and that's the dividing line between Salt Lake City and South Salt Lake. So once you cross that line into South Salt Lake as of now, you are more than welcome to light up fireworks responsibly as long as it's not in a restricted area. Simple message is don't do it. Don't light off fireworks in Salt Lake City. The uh, ban on fireworks is a Class B misdemeanor, so that can include up to a thousand dollar fine and up to 180 days in jail. Detective Ruff with Salt Lake City Police says they will enforce the ban the best they can, but are currently understaffed. We want people to call us. That's uh, you know report those incidents. Just be prepared that it may take some time for us to respond because we do still need to make sure we take care of those priority calls that are coming in as well. As well as a possible fine and jail time, fireworks could be one spark away from igniting a wildfire. Police say if found responsible, the person would most likely have to pay for the cost to fight the fire. Overall, I think that the uh, fire department and the community um, is feeling pretty good about this decision. Captain Burton with the Salt Lake City Fire Department says every year there are some sort of restrictions in place. This year, it's a citywide ban. We're asking the community more so than ever to kind of police themselves, to have more community involvement, more education. Both the fire and police department will enforce the ban and they want community members to call them if they see anyone lighting off fireworks. The goal for Detective Ruff is to make sure people are aware of the ban and follow it. We don't want to make arrests. We don't want to have to cite people. It is worth noting most of the fireworks stands are selling most of the same stuff. So even though there is that ban in Salt Lake City, the stands, the fireworks stands that are there are selling or are selling probably what you'd see in South Salt Lake or even in a city like Sandy. So with those fireworks, just make sure that right now you're not lighting those off within the Salt Lake City limits. Reporting live from South Salt Lake, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News. All right.